What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how a lot of people in the community are upset with the free or the surprise reward we got with the Bounties of Blackwood uh, event. Now, of course, we knew that there was going to be three different tiers, you know, where we're going to unlock stuff percentage wise uh, throughout the event. And at 100%, of course, we knew we were going to get the copper with the, uh, the target dummy and things, you know, the box you get from the crown store. But when the event was announced, there was going to be a a surprise kind of you know reward they were going to announce later on now this did get announced a few days ago kind of at the end of the year stream that Zoss did and a lot of players in the community are upset with this because it was going to be or it is going to be the deadlands dlc now the reason a lot of players are upset with it and it really doesn't bother me one way or the other but a lot of people out there that pay for eso plus every month or you know by the year or every three months six months whatever the case may be feel kind of like they got let down because this was going to be something that's included in ESO Plus. If you are new to the game, there are four DLCs every year. Three of them are included with ESO Plus. So if you have ESO Plus for a month or you have ESO Plus for 12 months, you get access to three of those DLCs depending on, you know, how long you have ESO Plus. So if you have it permanently, you'll have access to those DLCs. If you only have it for a couple of months, you'll get access Why? while you have that, you know, ESO Plus purchased. But a lot of players that have ESO Plus feel like it, it, it's just kind of a letdown because it was something that they were going to get anyway. Now, I am kind of glad that they're giving away some of these DLCs for players that cannot or may not necessarily be able to get ESO Plus each and every month. But at the same time, I do get where the ESO Plus, you know, players out there that probably have a lot of people out there get it, you know, buy it by the year. And they just have it year in, year out if they play the game for a really long time. And I do get where they're coming from when they say they feel like they're kind of getting let down by just getting something they were already going to have uh you know once the dlc was released anyway but of course you're still getting that other reward as well that uh, you know the item we're going to get from the crown store as long as we reach 100 it's going to have the target dummy and some other items also so leave me a comment with your thoughts uh are you an eso plus member first of all are you someone that buys it every month are you someone that you know just gets it kind of here and there that's what i do a lot of months i don't purchase it some months you know i'll just kind of save up items and things uh, on you know some of my alt characters and then buy ESO plus and then you know for a month or two and so I can get everything in the crafting bag it just kind of depends for me I'm not always playing just this particular game I do a video I do videos here on YouTube for a lot of other games as well but at the same time I know a lot of people only play this game and they're buying ESO plus by the month you know by the year whatever the case may be and they kind of feel like I said let down that you know they're getting an item that they call a surprise item uh, kind of for free but it's something they're already paying for since they have an ESO Plus membership. So it was something they're going to be getting with their ESO Plus membership. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.